that was really bad. Okay, my exhaust is about to sound, it's okay. I'm not gonna get you up like that. That was ridiculous, Vanessa, you just stalled it. Good morning, I'm in my tent. I just figured out my kit and clothes. I slept pretty all right. I think I've already got about six hours sleep. I've got a really puffy, puffy face this morning. Um, like I just feel a bit swollen even to my eyes. There's nothing about Rally that is glamorous, just so you, uh, in case I haven't made that really obvious already. Um, I don't know if you can hear the noise in the background. There isn't actually a car going past right now, uh, but there's pretty much been trucks and buggies driving around the bivouac all night, which don't help you sleep. Um, but I had my big ear defenders on, these things, so that's what I sleep in with a, an eye mask. And I do feel like I've got some sleep. Um, I've got quite a bit of blood in my nose today, which is common on a rally because of the dust of the sand. So um, my nose is feeling a little bit sore. I'll um, brush my teeth and then I'll have another thrap shower this morning. It will help with that. So I'm going to get the rest of my clothes on, get some breakfast. Oh, my eyes. This is embarrassing. Look at the state of me. Am I going to really share this to the public? If you enjoy this level of honesty, please let me know in the comments because I'm just trying to be real and this is what doing the rally is like. You're tired, you're exhausted, um, your hands probably can't stay in this light. Um, hands sore. Let me know in the comments and any questions. And if you do enjoy my channel, please do share with your friends and spread the word. Love you. I'm gonna get some clothes on. Out of my tent. Uh, bit right behind me, and then this way. I am in a tent in North Africa, riding a motorbike. It's absolutely incredible. It's one of the things that makes rallies just so wild. Uh, and this is just brutal and epic and incredible. Apparently, this is a holiday. Uh, but it's brutal, but it is really fun. It's pretty epic, but it's horrific. It's just brutal. The body, the mind, you have to have so much willpower to just keep riding when your body is like, I'm done. Anyway, day four, let's go. Bad line choice, Vanessa. <sighs> that was really bad. Okay, my exhaust is about to sound, it's okay. I'm not gonna get you up like that. That was ridiculous, Vanessa, you just stalled it.
run off. Oh God, really need tightening. Right, we're gonna have to go for it, buddy, to get up here. time but 20 minutes left 20 20 minutes left i've just drowned myself in some water apparently everyone's finding it really hot i've got 20 more minutes and then i gotta get back out there 100k to go kilometers are not made even this is a hard day spray me Ugh. oh that's so good down the neck oh yeah <laughs> Magic. That's good, thank you. I'm uh, with the fuel crew. They are the loveliest humans in the whole of this desert, seriously. They've given me cold water, which we have subsequently poured inside my clothing, which is pretty much on par with being in heaven right now. Um, and I've got a Sprite. I already feel slightly more human. We're just waiting for the fuel or something. We're yeah. just waiting. Yeah. Or we're just sitting chatting, which is also good. We're waiting for fuel because I don't want to have to come back out on the bike later. Once I've de-kitted. Or have I got puffy eyes? <gasps> I do have puffy eyes. No. In all fairness, I have ridden, I don't know, what is it? 290k through the desert in 40 degrees heat today. Uh, over and out. We got a sand tornado coming. You can see it going right up into the sky. I'm hoping it's going to miss us. Don't know if the camera can see it or not. Over the back. Wow. Look at it going up into the air. Ha! Huh. The bonus of having a slightly faster pace in this rally is that I'm actually back at the bivouac. It was two o'clock when I got in. It's now uh, 10 to three. I've got my kit off. I'm having a protein shake and lots more salts and electrolytes. I'm gonna chill here for about 10 minutes and then I'm probably gonna go and uh, have a shower and wash some of this kit. It's the halfway point, so very exciting. I've got a new trouser day tomorrow. I look at the state of these. They're like filthy. Uh, they're my Moscow woodsman pants, but I have a second pair. So I'm gonna have fresh pants tomorrow, which totally adds at least 5% performance. Fresh pants, I reckon so. <sighs> we are walking across the bivouac. So that is Desert Rose behind me. The bivouacs out here tend to be quite big, which means when you need the toilet, you're like, ah. Oh. <sighs> but it's part of being in the desert, sleeping in a tent. Um, I'm going to be going to have a shower. I have just spent the last probably two hours uh, with time just kind of whizzing 
pass. Just kind of trying to rehydrate, take on some calories. Um, I've had my collagen, I've had magnesium, zinc, vitamin C, all the sort of desert supporting supplements for recovery. Uh, for a protein shake, beef jerky, got some uh, engines revving up, you can probably hear it. This time of day in the bivouac is quite lively because all of the cars and trucks and buggies are coming in and needing repairing. Um, I've then also sorted my kit out for tomorrow, so I've got my socks, base layers, my tailwind is already prepped in my camel pack, I've got my protein uh, bars and energy gels, all of that organised and sorted. Now is shower and then I'm going to go and see if I can get a massage again. Um, quick update on my face, here you go, it's looking a lot better, I still look like shit. Uh, yeah, magically, sunglasses cover it up though. Um, so yeah, the showers are just in front of me. Here we go. Yo. Um, and there's actually a lady shower at this bivouac. So this is the sign. That is what ladies look like. Um, and I'm obviously not going to bring you in there because people will be getting changed. Yeah, all oh, showered and fresh. Uh, I'm now on my way to find my road book. It's quite windy and dusty, so I don't know if you can hear me. It is still about 39 degrees and it's six o'clock. Just to give you a context of heat. Um, road book, and I'm gonna see about that massage. Ah, oh, I'm like a new human now. New human Vanessa. Okay, you might not be able to hear me over the bivouac rave that's going on. Uh, I've had a spa afternoon. I went for a massage on the bivouac and I also had a chiropractor and I'm currently, um, I think this looks more like a physics lab going on here. Um, I'm going a little bit downhill because we've had no water in the bivouac for a couple of hours. Basically um, a Moroccan got sent to get the bivouac supplies of water at 10 o'clock this morning and he's not turned up yet. But Joe, Desert Rose legend, managed to go hustle. Oh yes, he's doing cool dude moves. Um, managed to hustle some water. So I'm now having... Are you serious? Yeah. Looks like poo water. Yep. Oh, is this to film my reaction? This is salt and Coca-Cola, and I don't drink Coca-Cola. I'm awesome. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! It's like a lot. Ah, oh, what is that? The salt's good for you. It's like eating the sea with Coke. <laughs> I've got to drink all of it. How much better do you feel already? I feel like I'm going to be gag. <laughs> I've uh, just woken up in my tent and realised that one of the blisters on my hands, you get that one from riding, has uh, swelled. So I'm going to pop it and let the liquid out the whole time it's sticking out I'm almost guaranteed to rip it so I've got a pin and okay, it's now flash I'm going to go back to sleep now um, pretty rough night I'm not really sure what's going on with my eyes don't know if you can see them um, I think I'm going to get myself to the med tent looking great. Okay, the audio is going to be abysmal, but sorry, I am in race mode and I can't get a mic out right now. Um, my eyes, I've got some kind of allergic reaction. They're just kind of running with water from the wind and it's very hard to keep my eyes open and see.
So I'm going to go to the med tent. Um, I'm not actually crying right now, but my eyes are crying. It's really windy, so you probably can't even hear me, but there's my eyes. Very attractive. Uh, look at my face. Oh, What's this? Well, I think it's just uh, you drink a lot of water. Okay. But you don't have enough liquid uh, salt in your body. So I had there so are much spots. salt last night. Okay. Is it worth having anti inflammatory or anything like that? Not uh, anti inflammatory, anti histamine, allergy? allergy? Uh, or. I look scary. Hi. Just stop for a little mid liaison. We by the only bush around. Uh, I'm um, really not feeling good this morning, unfortunately. I'm really worried about today. My eyes. Um, allergy or dust or no, but I'm not feeling great. <laughs> Take care and be careful. Yeah. Slow down. Rain yeah. Isn't over yet. Morning. No. Everything fine? No, I'm not doing very good today. What? I'm not very good today. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Can I, bounce? I don't know. But I don't feel very well, but I will You'll be okay. try my best. Road liaison down. I'm at the start line. You can see the first guy's going off. I have about 15 minutes, so I've just sat in the shade by one of the cars. I'm going to have to dig deep today. The state of me. Yo, yo, puffy face has made it to lunch stop. I'm actually feeling a lot better than I did earlier, so I'm glad I found some woman up energy to make the start line because I really didn't feel like I should. My face still looks, oh wow. Oh, look at that. That's, it's a good look. Anyway, um, I've just done my camera back. Gonna get some lunch. And then we've got 30 kg of juice this afternoon, so I'm just gonna keep trying to hydrate and plod on. That's my plan. Whew. It is epic today. No, I'm not doing very good today. What? I'm not very good today. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Can I bounce? I don't know. But I don't feel very well. But I will. You'll be okay. Try my best. Do you know what kilometer is lunch? a lot of energy and you're dripping fuel buddy okay good news is your exhaust side up so you're not going to feel your exhaust it's, uh, facing down I'm sorry my ship riding that caused that really up
in the bivouac, I survived. That was like um, a grueling slog. I feel like every day I say it's the hardest day, but it's definitely getting harder. I just think it's hotter. Without the heat, I it wouldn't be anywhere near as intense as it is now, but my eyes have gone down. I think by about 80, 100K in this morning, uh, I started to have lighter eyelids and the antihistamine I took obviously started to work. So my vision was a bit better and my kind of headache lifted a bit. And I just felt like I got in a, a really good flow. I haven't made a single navigation error all day. Like it was just textbook perfect, which is really cool. Uh, no speeding tickets, but the 30K of Dunes, I don't think it was 30K. I think it was like 300K actually. I think they should math. It just went on and on and on and my goodness it was hot but i only had i think two little spills so i'm quite proud of that um just trying to pick lines and i rode super steady in the dunes because when i ride faster i seem to just get flummed off the top of the dunes and i haven't figured out how to fly so i just go slow and up and down up and down second gear pop, 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 pop. that bike's absolutely dreamy he hasn't put a foot wrong um, I did find that my steering damper was like mad soft this morning. I don't know whether it's because I'm getting more fatigued or whether it got changed accidentally last night and I'll chat to the guys. So at lunchtime I upped the steering damper which takes a little bit of the front end wiggle out and that massively helped me particularly as we went into the dunes. But that last 60k post dunes was back on the, I think Gert's briefing described it as tracks and there is no better word than just shit tracks. Sorry YouTube, you can bleep that word. But it was brutal, like steps and l lumps and undulations, no flow, and you're just like, Ugh. Um, I haven't ridden with the camera much today, so you'll notice there wasn't much footage. Uh, I just kind of wasn't in a very good headspace and it actually takes quite a lot of energy to be turning cameras on and off and the weight on the chin. So anyway, I'm down stage five over and out i'm gonna get cleaned up get my tent up all that kind of malarkey and uh yeah i'm gonna just do that see that truck he is off on his way back into the desert he's just come back with a load of people and he's going back out there because there are still a lot of people stuck in the dunes now that's the exact wagon that saved me in tunisia if you don't know what I'm talking about, again, watch that video. Pretty brutal. It's two hours. So think of it like watching a three-part movie in a one -er. uh, It's a three-part series. But yeah, I got rescued by that truck. And he was just saying that it's the temperature inside his truck is saying 52 degrees uh, when he's in the dunes. So it really is brutal. I actually think it's hotter here than it was in Tunisia last year. Uh, I'm just very grateful that my riding has improved and I'm able to get out of the sun and into the finish line that much quicker. This is a dangerous game. And unfortunately, the desert has taken a second life today. Um, today it was a Malimoto guy from the heat, hydration, and yesterday it was a, a buggy pilot. It's a dangerous game, we know the risks, but it doesn't make it any less difficult when you hear it um, just sending out all my love and condolences to the family and I'll try and look after myself when I go back out there again tomorrow I'm uh, currently at dinner hopefully you can hear me I've just not done mics this week I'm sorry it's been survival mode it's still uh, 37 degrees and it's nearly nine o'clock at night just to give you a bit of a reality of how hot it is i've got my food the food in the bivouac is always incredible oh, i'm just so hot it's really hard to eat it um unfortunately due to the news stage six has been cancelled which is hugely to preserve the lives of the rest of us given the extreme heat temperatures that we are facing and I think sending us back into that kind of heat and dunes in the desert would, I guess, be far from ideal. And we don't want any round threes. So, um, on a bonus side of that, every cloud find a, s a silver lining, right? Uh, Justin and I and some of the other guys with Desert Rose Racing have found a hotel in the local town. And it has 
there's air conditioning and a swimming pool, so we're gonna go there and have a decent night's sleep without buggies and generators and race cars. What, I swear they just drive around in circles in the bivouac all night just to annoy people. Maybe it's how they do their competitive edge. But I know, we'll keep everybody else awake so they're tired. Anyway, we're gonna eat the food and we're gonna head to the hotel and have a good night's sleep and um, then we'll find out what the rest of the week entails. This is a massive difference to a bivouac. So a bit cheeky, really. Um, so Justin and I are sharing. This is a huge four poster bed. <laughs> and then there's a bed in this half, but we've got a suite because that's all they had. So there's a bed in here. And then the bathroom is pretty incredible as well. Um, <laughs> the air conditioning has just been turned on. So it's gonna start cooling down in here. Um, but kind of almost feels like a holiday for the night. <sighs> Gonna get some sleep and try and rejuvenate because tomorrow might be canceled, but there are still two more days and they're gonna be big.